see uh, uh, after two passages see just a moment please we had done you know three views panad akshapad and baudh and a fourth view which believes that the effect is neither existent nor non existent i don't know to uh, whether to attribute this view to the vedantins or to the madhyamik buddhis right but i think with some propriety this view can be attributed to shankara's vedanta not to shankar himself but to shankara's vedanta because in shankara's vedanta the world is neither real nor unreal right naiv sat na asat right as agyan to has been defined sad sad bhyam anirvachane anirvachane so this view is perhaps belongs to the advaitins and you see uh, 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 i don't want to comment much upon it but these are important views right i have already explained the nyaya view and the vaisheshik view the nyaya and vaisheshik view is that every effect is a new creation is a new creation had it been existent already in the cause then its coming into being as effect as a novel thing would not have been needed right if you can do with a mango seed then why need a mango fruit this is simplistically put their argument after all a mango fruit is not mango seed but sometimes in philosophy misunderstandings largely arise because of the inability to understand the spirit of the opponent's argument sir samche is not saying that mango mango fruit is mango seed so samche sometimes says that but that is not the spirit of the samche argument samche argument says this special effects arises from special causes certain effects arise only from certain causes why is that so that means that an effect whatever that effect may is already present in some form that means in a latent form in a potential form in the cause isn't it was i not present in a potential form in my parents right after all this this being could on, only have come into being from his parents and so with everybody this bag can be made only of a certain stuff a golden ornament can be made only of gold so a gold a golden ornament is already present in latent form latent form that is to be understood in potential form which other which in other words means that sankhya draws like for example aristotle a very important distinction between potentiality and actuality potentiality and actuality there are for example as you know i don't have to tell you that rabindranath tagore as you know rabindranath tagore a great poet no doubt uh, he became a painter and artist in the 60s follow me am i right in the 60s when he he, he had passed his 60th year somewhere around 63 63 around he he he, he 
he started painting at that time and he became not a mean artist though avanindranath is considered much better who was his brother but ravindranath whether a great or a greater or lesser artist became an artist at that age now sankhya would say how can he become unless there was an artist in him which took quite some time to manifest itself and why things manifest themselves at a certain time at a certain place depends upon our past deeds isn't it some people are prodigies john keats for example as you know died at the age of 23 john keats he has finished all his poetry by 23 and he died of tb tb perhaps tuberculosis so at 23 people only begin to try begin to try to understand rabindranath tagore when he becomes an artist he becomes a painter and i have said not a mean painter not a bad painter his paintings are preserved in national gallery of modern art which i first visited at the age of 22 and i saw his paintings as well as the paintings of those like amrita shergill for example who was a much greater painter it is said but anyway the painter in him manifested itself externally at the age at the age of 63 4 and he realized, he realized he started painting so sankhya would say every other man does not begin to be a painter at the age of 64 why not because the painter in him is not existent in the latent form right i did not become a poet and i did not die at the age of 23 i barely knew anything at the age of 23 and john keats wrote all his poetry so so that means a great poet was latent in him which manifested himself during the course of his life this is what sankhya is saying am i intelligible to you is what i am saying intelligible to you so now says now he says tatra idanim bhavata ka pratipatti riti this is tatra idanim third line ha huh? na third line tatr idanim bhavata ka pratipatti iti ucchate ka pratipatti iti and then what is your position then what is your understanding in the matter pratipatti pratipatti means normally understanding or here means your thesis what is your thesis the opponent asks the questioner asks he says न अविद्यमस्य महदादेर्कारस्य प्रधानात् आविर्भाव इति प्रतिजानीमहे वी डू नॉट रेकनाइज वी डू नॉट एक्सेप्ट दैट महदादि विकार से दैट दि विकार कॉल्ड महत एट्सेट्रा महत अहंकार एट्सेट्रा दे आर नॉट एक्जिस्टेंट बिफोर दे कम इन टू बींग वेयर प्रधानाद आविर्भाव दैट द इफेक्ट्स कॉल्ड महदादे व्हेन दे इवॉल्व फ्रॉम प्रधान और प्रकृति वी डू नॉट एग्री दैट व्हेन दे इवॉल्व फ्रॉम प्रकृति दे आर नॉट एग्जिस्टेंट ऑलरेडी देयर इन प्रकृति दैट मींस दे एग्जिस्ट इन प्रकृति इन ए पोटेंशियल फॉर्म that is why they come into being so sankhya position is this two fold first of all 
nothing can come out of nothing. If something is born, there must be something from which it is born. This is the first. And I think this cannot be disputed by anybody. If the scientist, if any scientist disagrees, to hell with that scientist. Right? Some people say the universe came out of nothing, came from nothing. Now this is unacceptable. There must be something from where the universe goes. That something may not be known to us, but that is a different thing. There are certain things in my own body, my body, which are not known to me, but that does not mean they don't exist. Right? I don't know what sort of red corpuscles are moving in my body, but they must be moving, as, as the medical doctor says. They are appearing and dying as part of this living body. Right? They are appearing and dying as part of what is called this living body. How is something dying or something dead be a part of something living? Right? So, so some supposition is that if something exists and it, it exists as an effect that in it must come, it must issue from, it must be caused by something. So something must exist as a cause and the effect must exist in the cause in a latent form, in a suksha form, suksha form. That is why Sankhya talks of Tirobhava and Avirabhava. Avirabhava is manifestation. Tirobhava is non-manifestation. Disappearance, but not destruction. It disappears from view. It disappears from knowledge, but it is not destroyed. Right? Right for just like. For example, when a man dies, the soul disappears from his body. But soul doesn't die if Sankhya is correct, or if Yoga, or Vedanta, or Ravanuj, or Nyaya, Vasheshik, Vimansa are correct, or if many Western philosophers are correct, the soul does not die with the body. Right? So he says, Na avidyamanasya mahadader vikarasya pradhanad avirabhava iti pratijani vahe. This is called satkaryavad. This is called the doctrine of satkaryavad. You follow the line? You have understood the line? Okay, I know. Kasmat sannivesha vishesha matra bhupakamat. So why do you say that? He says that because we accept uh, Abhyapagamat, this is what we accept. Abhyapagam means acceptance. We accept the doctrine that Mahadadi Vikaras are only Sannivesha Vishesha Matras. And Sannivesha, sannivesha means they are particular forms of the causes, of the conglomerate of causes, of rather conglomerate of causes, which are those causes? Satvarajas tamas, as gunas. They are particular forms of satvarajas tamas when they unite in a particular way. When the bricks unite in a particular way, it becomes a building. When they unite in one particular way, it becomes a road, so and so forth, right? Just like in science, when elect protons or electrons, whatever the fundamental particles are, when they unite and combine in one form, they give rise to one kind of effect. They, when they combine in one, one form, they give rise to another kind of effect, isn't it? We are all effects of the combinations. But those combinations are different. 
they have diverse forms and therefore we have diverse effects right otherwise in in the universe they would only have been human beings but we have other objects non human animals and insentient objects and they all come from the same material if science is to be believed right nahi na karanad arthantar bhutam karyam utpaddate ityapagamava he says we do not accept the proposition that nahi na na means to us na not acceptable na abhyapagama we do not accept is not acceptable to us karanadar anta arthantar bhutam karyam utpaddate that effect is already something all completely different from the cause arthantar bhut is a separate thing all together all together is a separate thing mahat as a certain manifest form is separate from prakriti as avikriti prakriti is unmanifest avikriti prakriti is non effect but mahat is an effect there in lies the difference when the thirdas begin to combine in a certain way interact in a certain way one guna predomin predominating other gunas and other gunas acting as subservient or as ancillary factors then we have first evolute called mahat similarly mahat consists of three gunas combined in a particular form and these gunas are always active and a stage stage is stage is reached when ahankar comes out of bahar and so forth right just as if you keep milk for 10 days it will acquire a certain form isn't it there is activity always going on all this even in samya vastha there is activity only as the gyan bhikshu says there is sadrish parinama one guna changes itself into another sattva changes itself into sattva rajas changes itself into rajas and so on but when they combine in a particular way they give rise to a different effect what we call different thing but effect must in some important respect be present in the cause because an effect has to be like its cause in some way so in what way is mahat like prakriti can anybody tell me in what way is mahat as an effect like prakriti its cause can anybody tell me yes please yes Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, gunas. Because mahat also consists of three gunas. Three gunas are always there in all the effects. Just as neurons or protons are all there in every effect. So, science and metaphysics is very great. Is very great. then he says now this line is important kim tarri then if you say that effect is not altogether different from its cause then what is an effect he says kim tarri or what do you mean by cause vishvatmakanam satra das tamasam apagata vishesha vishesha tanmatra lakshano pachaya prati nivritta parinama vyapara परम विभाग उपसंप्राता सूक्ष्म शक्त वॉट इज वॉट आर गुणास हि से सूक्ष्म शक्त दे आर मैन्यूट फोर्सेस 
اور لیٹنٹ فورسز اور ایٹامک فورسز سب ایٹامک ریئرس سب ایٹامک ریئرس شکتیا دے آر پاورس دے آر پوٹینسیز شکتیا کین بی ٹرانسلیٹڈ بوتھ ایز پاورس اینڈ ایز پوٹینسیز دے آر پوٹینسیز رائٹ آئی سے ہی ہیز شکتی دیٹ از ہی ہیز دی ابلٹی ٹو فائٹ ڈپریشن ہی ہیز شکتی ٹو فائٹ ڈپریشن ٹو 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 فیس آٹ سرکمسٹانسیز جو شکتی مینس پاور اور پوٹینسی وشواتم کا نام وشواتم دے آر یونیورسل دے آر آل پرویز وشواتم کا نام دے ٹیک دی فارم آف دی یونیورس اٹ کین ہیو مینی میننگس دے ٹیک دی فارم آف دی ہول یونیورس دی ہول یونیورس از پرویڈیڈ ہول یونیورس از پرویڈیڈ Even the Dek- Deva Loka is pervaded. Prakriti is not confined to only earthly creatures, earthly creation. Prakriti is all pervaded. It's Vibhu. Prakriti is Vibhu and Nitya and Parinami. Nitya but changing. Vishwatma Kaanam, Satpradastavasam, Apakata Vishesha Vishesha. اپگت وشیشا وشیشا وشیش اور اوشیش آر گون فروم دیم دے آر نیدر اسپیشل نور نان اسپیشل نیدر پرٹیکولر نور نان پرٹیکولر وین ایٹ دا ٹائم آف پرکرتی بینگ پرکرتی پرکرتی بینگ ایٹ دیئر اوریجنل اسٹیج واٹ وگیان واٹ سانکھیہ سوترا کال سامیا وستھا پرکرتی in a state of equipoise. Apagata vishesha vishesha. San matra lakshano pachaya. San matra. They only exist at that time. San matra. They only exist. Lakshano pachaya. That is, they have the, they have the form They have the characteristic only of existence. Nothing further can be said about them at that time. San Matra Lakshano Pachaya. Right? They have the characteristic, they have the feature only of being existent. We only can say about them that they exist. Right? اپتی نبت پرینام ویاپارا ویاپارا دے آر فنکشن آف چینجنگ ان ٹو سم تھنگ ایلس پلیز پلیز گو می یور اٹینشن پلیز فالو می دے آر فنکشن ویاپارا دے آر فنکشن دے آر آپریشن آف پرینام آف گونگ رائز ٹو افیکٹس پتی نبت از گون is lost at that stage. Lost doesn't mean destroyed. Lost. Doesn't have an appearance. Doesn't appear. Does not exist at that time. Not that it can never exist. Right? Exist in this sense. Pati Nibritta is gone from them. Right? Just as we can say, that as a certain stage when uh, 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 a certain stage when a poet uh, turns into a novelist we can say now his uh, his uh, 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 you know his characteristic his characteristic as a poet poet is gone and he has turned into a prose writer or a novelist or a fiction writer right right person continues to be the same. Pratinibritta pradidama vipyara. 
and then it says param vibhagam upasampranta param avibhagam param avibhagam avibhagam indivisible undifferentiated undifferentiated this term i will explain in a moment because this is a very significant term and people often fail to understand this term and there will are all kinds of charges against the sankhya and because sankhya except through the writing of yukti deepika the composition called yukti deepika sankhya never tried to answer their criticism look uh, ishwar krishna himself says paravada vibarjita i'm not contesting other views i'm not writing my uh, sankhya karika in order to refute other views i'm just writing it to give in is to give in a sense the spirit of the teaching which was handed down to us from kapil to pa- uh, asuri to panchashik etc this is param avibhagam i call it not not this or rather i am uh, ulti- uh, yes ultimate world is better ultimate undifferentiated form and this is samya avastha what the songs sutra says samya avastha of prakriti tati nivritt parinam vyapara when the gunas are not in a position to give rise to any effect do you understand jab unme koi parinam nahi ho raha parivartan nahi ho raha to us state mein unko is samya avastha kaha jata hai parinam ki state mein wo tab aate hain jab unme se teenon gunon mein se koi ek gun प्रधान बन जाता है मुख्य बन जाता है और बाकी गुण गौण बनकर उसको सपोर्ट वगैरह का इत्यादि करते हैं ठीक है अगेन अ ड्रीमलेस स्लीप कम्स टू माई माइंड साम्य अवस्था जस्ट बाय वे ऑफ एनोलॉजी नो विकार नो मेंटल मॉडिफिकेशन इन ड्रीम ड्रीमलेस स्लीप not in dream sleep dreamlessly no modification equipoise consciousness is in equipoise nothing is happening nothing is occurring nothing is being heard nothing is being seen nothing is being felt as touched this is only by way of analogy i am not saying that prakriti is dreamless sleep i am only trying to make intelligible the state of prakriti when it is in the form of avikriti prakriti avikriti when it is in a state of equipoise so what is this undifferentiated i gave you the example of a bud blossoming into a flower kali kali hai na jaya kali hoti hai na kali ko dekh rakha hai na united hoti hai ek hoti the bud is one doesn't it appear to be one tell me it appears to be one and then after a time after a time i'm not saying how much time i have not seen that but i know that after a time it blossoms into a flower and there are petals so many petals they are 
differentiations of the original unitary bud. One bud and it blossoms into a flower, flower which has so many petals. Usse kai patte ho jate hai. Like a seed grows into a seed, a united seed, unitary entity called seed, mango seed grows into a mango tree, so many branches, they are all its differentiations, vibhagas, it gets divided into. Differentiations means divided into, undifferentiated means undivided into, indivisible. So this is undifferentiated when it is when, doesn't, when it does not acquire a manifest form, it remains undifferentiated. Right? Are you following? Since I don't know biology, I cannot say it, but when uh, a woman conceives the seed, remains undifferentiated and in time it gets differentiated into so many parts of the body. So many parts of the body. The same seed in time, it takes time to evolve. So time is important because every becoming or every change from a cause into effect takes time. You know, only out of a cow dung, some worms arise. They don't arise from a table. Why not? Why not? Because they must be present in the cow dung in a latent form. It's a simple thing. Scientists are trying to put across. Simple but very fundamental thing. But the opponents are not willing to understand why this proposition. They have their own views. Those, those views are also important as, as views, as different views. But Sankhya's position seems to be, seems to me at least, to be more correct. Only Sankhya is wrong if Sankhya believes that cause is more important than effect. If I don't know. If Sankhya believes that cause is more important than effect, their science, their science goes wrong. Because it is only through the effect, the manifest world, that bhog is provided to the purush, and apavarga is, apavarg is gotten by purush. Because without the manifest world, there can't be purusharthas, and they can't be achieved. So the manifest word is as important as the, as the unmanifest cause. So this is where we are done. Sorry. Have you all been somewhat able to understand this point? which I'm trying to underscore, underline. Okay, very fine. This is important. Jaya, for your PhD work also, this is important. She's doing work on uh, Vigyan Bhikshu. And then he says, Tasam. Tasam. Tasam means of those shaktis, of those powers or potencies, of those powers. Adhikara samarthyat. Adhikara samarthyat. Adhikara samarth means their ability, their capacity to produce. Right? their capacity to produce, adhikara samarthyat, upajat, upajat, coming in, produced, coming into a existence. 
ಪರಿಣಾಮ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಪರಿಣಾಮ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ದೇರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ರೈಸ್ ಟು ಪರಿಣಾಮ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಧರ್ ಯು ನೋ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದೇ ಗಿವ್ ರೈಸ್ ಟು ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ದಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಎ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವೇ ರೈಟ್ ತಾಸಾಂ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ಸಾಮರ್ಥ್ಯ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ಸಾಮರ್ಥ್ಯ ದೇರ್ ಅಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಉಪಜಾತ ಪರಿಣಾಮ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ನಾಮ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ನಾಮ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆನ್ ಮಾಡಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಪರಿಣಾಮ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ನಾಮ ಸರ್ ಮಾತ್ರಾನುಕ್ರಮೇಣ ಪ್ರಚಯ 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 ಉಪಾಧ್ಯ ಇದ್ದಸ್ಯ ಬೋಧ ಸನ್ಮಾತ್ರಾನುಕ್ರಮೇಣ ಪ್ರಚಯ ಉಪಸಂಪದ್ಯಮಾನ ಯಸ್ ಯಸ್ ಉಪ ಸಸ್ ಸ ಇಸ್ ಮಿಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಸ ಇಸ್ ಮಿಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಉಪಂಪದ್ಯಮಾನ ಉಪಸಂಪದ್ಯಮಾನ ಉಪಸಂಪದ್ಯಮಾನ ಸನ್ ಮಾತ್ರಾನುಕ್ರಮೇಣ ಪ್ರಚಯ ಉಪಪದ್ಯಮಾನ they are only existent and then they acquire magnitude prachayam vistar magnitude extension then they acquire extension firstly they just exist then they acquire extension right upasampadyamanana prachayam upasampadyamanana when they acquire extension sannivesha vishesha matra vyaktam so vyakt the manifest world sannivesha vishesha matra it is a particular kind of sannivesha of those gunas which exist as potencies or powers the point is that when satvaras satvaras santamas as powers give rise to certain effects those effects should be understood only as particularized forms of the unmanifest cause nothing more but also nothing less sankhya says sanmatra vishesha matra i said okay they are just sanni vishesha vishesha vishesh kind of sannivesha sannivesha i am unable to translate is a particular state particularized state just as uh, for example water is a particularized state of something solid water something solid perhaps right so particularized state right solidified state vyaktam i would only say the though the effect is nothing more than that but it is also nothing less than that it is also nothing less than that it is nothing less an effect and then effect is real that is one great distinction that exists between advaita vedanta account of the world the manifest world and the sankhya or yoga account because sankhya and yoga yoga also believe that the manifest world is as real as the unmanifest prakriti but advaita vedanta thinks that the manifest world is unreal tuch unreal you will say it says no it is also sat i say that is only to play with words because ultimately in the ultimate sense the world is an illusion for advaita vedanta and the world is real for sankhya and yoga yes
and there, then there are arguments and you know uh, counter arguments against such a word but and then we uh, after some time after some time we come to this just a moment He says, Jahad dharmantaram purvam upadatte yadaparam tatpad aprachuto dharmi parinama sa uchato. What is parinama? Parinamo hinama avastita se drabyasya dharmantar nibritti dharmantar pravritti. What is change? This question is very fundamental in metaphysics. What do we mean by change? And I'll briefly discuss it. See, there cannot be change if there is not same something for some time. Right? If there cannot be change, if there is not same something, there is not a substance which endures at least for some time. We say this table, this table color has changed now. Suppose it's now, it has now this color and I change its color tomorrow or after some time. We say the, the table has changed in some respect. That is, its color has changed. Change means acquirement of some new property and giving up of some existent property, of some present property. Right. It loses its pre present property of being brown and acquires the new property of being black or blue, how, whatever the case may be. Right. Somebody says, Oh, Ramesh has changed. How? Ramesh earlier was a young man. Now he's an old man with white hair. Earlier his hair was black. Now his hair are white. Now this is change or not? Please tell me. This is change or not? But change takes place only that thing in which the change takes place Continued, continues to be the same in some important sense. In some important sense. It's not completely the same, but it is nevertheless the same in some important sense. I'm the same person as I was a child at the age of three. If I'm not, then how do I remember that, I, uh, that at the age of child, this is what happened to me? And I remember certain things happening to me at the age of three. I remember. So, how can I remember? How can I remember certain things which happened to somebody else without knowing them? But here I don't have to know those things which happened to me. I simply know them. I simply remember them. Isn't it? For recollection, I don't have to make an extra effort to recall. If I recall that I, I was here yesterday, I don't have to make any special effort. I know I was present here yesterday also and doing some other part of Yukti Deepika. But I have changed from yesterday to today. Kal se aaj me mene me parivartan gaya. Yesterday I was a shaven man. Today I didn't shave. This is one change. Yes, it's a change. Howsoever insignificant, we are not talking of important or unimportant changes, 
we are talking of change as such. Every moment we are changing from one state into another, from one, one mental state into another. Nevertheless, we remain the same in some sense because change is occurring in us. So that means we acquire new property and give up some old property while the substance remains the same. That is called Parinama change. So Prakriti's coming into effect means Prakriti remains the same, that is, in its essential form, Sattva Guna, Sattva Tamas and uh, Sattva Rasa and Tamas, Guna remain, they are never destroyed, they always remain, but they get into one modified form after another. So, then the Karika is explained, Parinama Vinama, Avasthita Sadrabhya, a drabhya which remains avasthita, stable, which endures. Dharmantar nivritti, dharmantar nivritti, dharmantar pravritti, is uh, 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 disappearance of some of his properties, some one property of his, and acquirement of some, some other property of his, some other property. If Ravindra Tagore changes from a poet into a painter, then he has given up one property and acquired another property. But Ravindra Tagore, as a person, remains the same. Am I wrong, Palomi? Ravindra Tagore, the person called Tagore, remains the same. Earlier, I was a student of grammar, and now later on, for last roughly 50 years, I have been a student of philosophy. This is a remarkable change for me. I have changed. But nevertheless, I was the same. I am the same. I was the same. I am the same. And then we follow the sloka. Jaha dharmantaram purvam uvadatte jadaparam tatvad apracyato dharmi parinama sa uchyate. Parinama sa uchyate. We call change that thing, that thing, when jagat dharmantaram purvam, when dharmantaram, when some other property of its a substance gives up, upadatte yadaparam, and acquires another property, a different property. Tattvad aprachito dharmi, without fundamentally diverging or deviating from its essential form, essential form, then we call it change. But if those people, those philosophers, who do not believe in the category of substance, they have problem how to explain change. Suppose some people say, as in our own times in Western philosophy, or as even the Buddhists, as even the Buddhists, they say that things are only sanghat, sanghat of dharmas, dharmas, that there is no substance, no substance, no dravya. Okay, if we have an aggregate, if we have an aggregate of, say, P, Q, R, these three properties, these properties, because in our own times, as Shuti knows, empiricists have denied the concept of substance. And they say that only properties exist, only qualities exist, and they exist as related to each other. Okay, suppose, we have an aggregate of P, Q, R, and this aggregate exists. Guna hai, P, Q, R unko naam de diya. Hana? Suppose, redness, redness, sweetness, sweetness, meetha pan, all these qualities, 
लाल होना मीठा होना गोल होना जैसे कि सेव होता है सेव कोई चीज नहीं है केवल कुछ धर्म है लालपना रक्तता मीठा होना और गोल होना सिर्फ ये क्वालिटीज है और इनका कॉम्बिनेशन वो एप्पल है राइट right? Now, if this is so, then there cannot be change in an apple. We can say an apple changes. An apple changes. For example, we say the man changes. If I say, just a moment. If I say, Ashok, the person called Ashok. is happy let me write it down because this subject is very very important not only to me but to sankh also and to any conception of time and change let me put it this way to make it more intelligible number 1 rather i put it this way number 1 i am sad i am sad at time 1 i am happy at time 2 time means any time One year before, two year before, a decade before, or two minutes before, any time, and time to any subsequent time. Then I am jealous at time three. Then I say. i am thinking of sankhya of sankhya conception of prakriti conception of prakriti at time 4 and there can be any number of things that can be said about me right i i means anybody anybody it can be jaya it can be shruti it can be your name please shankar 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 sahab so many others anybody any of you can be all these things at different time not only only these things but any number of things any number of properties you can all have in your life all of you must have been sad at some moment all of you must have been happy at some moment small or little happiness doesn't matter i am simply saying happy happy and if you are a student of sankhya or student of vedanta or student of yoga you must have thought some doctrine of yoga vedanta or aristotle or plato at some time and if you are not a student you might have thought of something else of commerce or economics and so and so forth doesn't matter and then you you might have been envious or jealous or felt competitive with your a bit of class mate etc if not as a young man as a child oh he possesses that car i don't possess it right so i try to take it away from him or just feel jealous if i am a cool creature just feel jealous and you know force my father or mother to buy me also one right jealous or envious right and
do all these things, do all these different things, denote properties or not, characteristics. ये विशेषताएं बताते हैं कि नहीं जया मेरी या आपकी अगर ये आप पर लागू होती हैं या आप पर कुछ और चीजें लागू हो सकती हैं बिफोर नवंबर यू वर नॉट मैरिड एंड इन नवंबर यू वर मैरिड सो यू आर ए चेंज पर्सन अर्लियर यू वर मैरिड अनमैरिड एंड नाउ यू आर मैरिड इज अ चेंज इन यू अर्लियर यू डिन नॉट हैव ए हस्बैंड Now you have a husband. Is it change or not? Tell me, am I wrong? So is it change? We are changing. We are becoming or changing every moment, and yet we remain the same. I think it's the same person who was unmarried before November and married. After November, it's the same person who is earlier unmarried and who is now married. You will say, if it's the same person, then how can you talk of change? We say we can talk of change amid sameness, amid identity, amid identity. That is, this is very identity in difference, identity in difference. This is Hegel. Hegel, identity in difference. Or this is Ramanuj. Ramanuj, identity in difference. And to some extent, Vigyan Bhikshu, identity in difference. एक ही चीज रहता है, फिर भी उसमें differences रहते हैं. Differences. मैं एक ही हूं वही व्यक्ति हूं फिर भी कितने परिवर्तनों से गुजरा हूं हाउ मेनी चेंजेस आई हैव गॉन थ्रू इन माय लाइफ फ्रॉम बीइंग अ चाइल्ड टू दिस ओल्ड एज फ्रॉम बीइंग एब्सोल्युटली इलिटरेट टू नाउ अ बिट फेमिलियर विद सर्टेन थिंग्स लाइक युक्ति दीपिका so many changes i've got so this is identity and this is the ancient problem one many one and many is the universe one or many we'll say it's both is one in many because it's a substance is a differentiated unity when advait want advait vedan shankaraj vedan talks of undifferentiated unity i think is mistaken there cannot be a unity which is not differentiated you cannot talk of unity unless it is differentiated all you speak only of one there is only one and don't don't say abhibhakta don't say abhibhakta or advaita don't say that say just one eka that's all only one thing exist and that is atman don't say abhibhakta advaita why say advaita that means you are recognizing that some other other entity exists eh huh? but actually there are no other entity what is maya how do account for this world you can't account this world through maya you can't account for this world through maya because maya does not exist tell me whether maya is real and how can you account even for an apparent world unreal world through something unreal you are trying to explain something unreal through something unreal which also is unreal that is you are trying to account for falsity through falsity bhranti ko bhranti ke madhyam se aap explain kar rahe hain and this is untenable at least to a person like pradesh i do not agree with the advaita proposition though i agree that shankar was a great thinker but that is a part
that is different. 